My name is Annie Chavez Espinosa, and the Rubies were, we were a big fish in a small pond back then, because there were not a lot of teams that we played, but we were the best. We had a great coach. He took us in, he and his wife, I don't know how they put up with us, but he took us in and opened his heart and his, and his house to us and supported us. And I'm hoping that these ladies now that are playing will realize how fortunate they are that they're allowed to play as we have to fight our way through. But this is Stella and Gogi and Lillian and Irma and a lot of us, Rita and uh, Norma and a lot of others that were not able to be here, but for them, in behalf of Magnolia Rubies, we appreciate you, we thank you so much for honoring us, and uh, God bless y'all. Oh my God, he was a wonderful, kind man. He, um, as a matter of fact, when I wanted to play, my mom didn't want to let me play, so he took the time to go and visit my mom and convinced her that he would take care of me and not to worry about me, and, and that's when I started playing. That's the kind of man that he was. He gave so much to us. Very patient. He was a very patient man. Yes, because I mean, you have a bunch. We have a bunch of girls coming up there, going upstairs, putting makeup on, wondering why we're gonna put makeup on. He would say, "Y'all gonna go play ball? What are y'all gonna be?" I said, "We're gonna go see the boys." You know. So uh, you know, he was that kind of a guy, and he would listen to us, to our gossip, <laughs> to our jokes, to our to our stories. We we need somebody to talk to. He was a man that we would go to, especially those of us that didn't have a dad. I didn't. And he, I, I could go to him and talk to him about anything. So, yes, he was a wonderful, wonderful man. To have fun, take plenty of pictures, be friends. For, I mean, whatever happens on the field happens. But after that's gone, like, just be happy and, and be grateful and just have a great time. Because you're not going to be 13 every day or 14. The years go by very quickly. Look at us. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're looking at us. We're still 40 years old. So, you know, you know I would tell them that, yes. Have a good time. Do yourself. What about my name is uh, Olga Gogi Gallegos McGee. One thing I'd like to say um, about my dad, uh, who is Mario Gallegos, in that he had to talk to many of the parents personally. I know there's a couple of them here that I know he went to talk to them to say, I'm going to take care of your daughter. Please let her play with us. I promise that I'll you know, watch her and make sure she gets home safely. And that, there were several of them that he had to personally talk into it. And that was very good. I think that was very... Um, I don't know, noble, noble to see, yeah, because, you know, that's hard to say, oh, well, you can't play, let's see if someone else can play, but we wanted, you know, these people to play, so he took the time to meet them at their home and to call them and to say, I will take care of your daughter. Uh, to the young ladies, uh, Annie's right, have fun, that's important, but baseball for us kept us out of trouble as well. I mean, back in those days, we didn't get to go to the malls, we didn't get to go out of our neighborhood. And so our parents allowed us to play ball, and that allowed us to travel the city of Houston to go play against different teams. And it's good to go and meet and see different areas of Houston, meet different girls. Uh, just like Annie said, be very uh, cordial. You know, don't. Yes, the the game is competitive, but most of what you're getting out of it is comradeship, and uh, and that's the important thing. My dad was our coach, and uh, we also thank Paul Rogers, who was a firefighter along with my dad, and they uh, volunteered their times off when they were not at the fire station uh, to work with us girls and make us champions. My name is Irma Guerra, and uh, I lived in the neighborhood not two or three blocks away from here. For me, it was just a wonderful experience to come here. I came out here one day just to play by myself, and. Uh, Mr. Gallego saw me and asked me if I wanted to play. I'm thinking, well, I don't know, but I, I guess so. <laughs> and that, that was the beginning of everything for me. To these young ladies, I say, have fun and be true to yourselves and, and re have respect for your, yourself as well as your, uh, the competitors but, uh, and have a good time. Hi, my name is Estella Espinosa. I play third base, and I was one of them that Mr. Gallegos had to talk to my dad. <laughs> he was very strict, so I, I had... A wonderful, beautiful time with my second family that I did enjoy with Mr. Gallegos. Oh, this is Lillian. This is me, Estella. And this is Gogi. And this is Norma, who was our pitcher. This is Janie, who was our Rita. Rita, Rita, who was our first base. Irma, who just left, was our center field. Annie was our shortstop. Janie was our second baseman. Lillian was our left field. Uh, Stella was third base. Uh, Lucy was right field. 
Uh, she was right field also, and I was a catcher. And Norma was, yeah, she was a pitcher.